Gentlemen, very old turntable. You're not going to find many across the country at this age, especially in terms of still being used in operation today. Locomotive 4501, the MS282 Mercado. Let me explain a couple of those things in the name. Number one, as I said on board, this locomotive was the very first of its class out of 182. Out of the 182, this is the only one left. Very about on board, that plaque supports the front end of the train, the pilot on that locomotive. That's the National Registry of Historic Places, an oddity of sorts as far as generally when you see a plaque like that on a historical residence or building or site. I talked about that prefix of numbers, just like any steam locomotive, you're going to see a prefix of numbers. It could be a 210, 484 in the case of the 4501. All right, 282, you're starting counting wheel sets. That gives you the understanding of a wheel arrangement like a 282. The two liter pilot wheels, that's two behind that on both sides, are larger driving wheels. Four plus four is eight. Two eight and two trailer wheels underneath the cab itself. Originally, this was built in 1911 up in Philadelphia. By Baldwin, it was delivered to the Southern Railways, East Tennessee Division, originally being Long used way. up as a freight locomotive up at the Bulls Gap, Tennessee area, around the Knoxville Division, various locations of East Tennessee, and towards the latter part of its Southern Railway career, when that comes to an end, just before that, it was operating in Southern Indiana. So it originally cost a little bit more than $23,000 to build, which was a lot of money back in 1911. When it was sold in 1948 to the KNC, the Kentucky and Tennessee Shoreline line operation into the coal mining country, the mountains of Kentucky and East Tennessee, based out of Sturgis, Kentucky. They sold